and welcome or welcome back to my channel so i am in udaipur and this is going to be kind of like my part 2 of the udaipur vlog but it's not going to be like a regular vlog i am taking up a challenge so i saw this video initially um on tanya's channel and i loved the idea and i want to try it out for myself i'm of course going to be linking her channel and her video in the description box below so you can go and check it out but i wanted to try it out for myself so essentially today i'm going to be staying in a 2500 rupees ka hotel and then in the second half of the video i'm going to be staying in a 25000 rupee per night wala hotel now i do understand that affordability and luxury ka definition is very different for different people but this is just my take on it um also another thing that i need to mention is that prices vary depending on the season that you travel in when you do your bookings and stuff like that so when i booked my stay this was the price that it was showing me of course i'll make sure to link all the um like details in the description box below but just wanted to throw that out there and i think that's all we should get started with today's video um yeah let's go let me show you what the 2500 rupee room looks like okay so let's do our quick room tour so we're staying in punam haveli and this is the ac room um and it retails for 2500 rupees for two people for one night so come on in and let me give you a quick room tour okay so um as soon as you enter this is the main thing that you see which is the sleeping area the bed is pretty big and there's also um like an extra bed for you to sleep and then uske aage yahan pe thoda sa seating area bhi hai and right next to the bed there's also like a seating area here and then one more seating area right there ye kone mein tv hai there's also a kettle and then there's a mini fridge so on to the most important part for me personally is the washroom and i feel like for every girl so let's actually see if the washroom is nice <laughs> so i mean it's not bad it's stop giving me a word it's not too bad this is the shower area but that theek hai manageable hai for the price that you pay it's nice so talking a little bit more about the room and also my first impressions of the room the room is nice um if you're on a budget i feel like it's a good room and especially if you split it between two people it's essentially 1 to 5 0 per person per night obviously if you were to stay in a hostel it would be even cheaper but i wanted to cover like a proper hotel talking about the location because location matters a lot when you're traveling um this hotel is located i would say almost in the middle um of everywhere like all the nice cafes there's um the lake also really nearby so everything is walking distance away which is a really good thing obviously abhi यहाँ का ब्रेकफेस्ट जो इंक्लूडेड है ये रूम के साथ वो कैसा है वो तो कल ही पता चलेगा बट आई थिंक सो फार सो गुड काफी नॉइजी है एज यू कैन टेल बिकॉज दिस लिटरली ऑन द मेन नॉट मेन रोड बट गली में है ये तो थोड़ा सा नॉइजी है ये बट इट्स ओके लाइक वन साइड शट द विंडोज आई डोंट थिंक इट शुड बी अ प्रॉब्लम सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू कनेक्ट टू द वाईफाई बट आई एम नॉट getting the wifi i mean i got it for a minute but after that i am not able to connect to the wifi yeah so and the network is not that great here Uh, for airtel basically yeah so that that that's definitely something that to you have to keep in mind if keep you in mind here and you require internet so maybe you'll have to talk to them and figure it out about the wifi if they can help in some way because i can see quite a few wifi lists but i'm not able to connect to any of them Okay so now we're leaving the hotel and we're going to go and explore the city um so i just wanted to let you guys know that in the previous vlog we've already covered the city palace the lake pichola boating karni mata ropeway jagdish temple and we also explored quite a few cafes so if you want like recommendations on what to do in udaipur you should definitely check out my vlog the part 1 we're obviously going to continue exploring so yeah let's get started okay so thoda sa maine socha before we completely leave the hotel i should show you like a few clips of what the hotel also looks like and also check out our room number 007 aditya james bond yeah so hamare hotel ke bahar hi aisa ek i don't even know what to call this but niche basically lobby hai yahan pe right here and this is the rooftop it's actually quite nice डायरेक्ट लेक व्यू नहीं है एकदम मतलब लेक पास ही नहीं है दूर है थोड़ी सी बट ओवरऑल व्यू अच्छा है यहाँ से आई थिंक रात को इल वी रियली नाइस एक्चुअली द लास्ट क्लिप दैट आई शेयर विथ यू गाइज वॉज नॉट द एक्चुअल रूफ टॉप अभी और भी ऊपर है यहाँ पे 
Oh nice. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. ये है रूफ टॉप एक्चुअल वाला वाह वेरी नाइस होगा रात को सेटअप होगा येलो लाइट्स लगेगी तो आई थिंक और भी ज्यादा सुंदर लगेगा व्यू और भी ब्यूटिफुल है यहाँ का अनादर सुपर क्यूट स्पॉट इन द होटल इट सेल्फ ऊपर ही है राजस्थानी मील पहले हमें लगा थाली मिलेगी बट थाली नहीं मिलती यहाँ पे इट्स जस्ट राजस्थानी फूड सो आई डिड इंडल्ज इन लिटिल बिट ऑफ शॉपिंग सो आई एम डू लाइक अ वेरी वेरी मिनी हॉल Just I'll show you like a few different things. I got this super cute book. It's completely like handmade and it has like handmade paper also inside. And I got this postcard. So um, I basically want to start collecting like postcards from like everywhere that I go, and then be able to kind of frame them and make like an entire wall out of it. Um, so yeah, this is what I got, and it's like hand drawn. And uh, there was like an artist on the road, and he had the most beautiful paintings ever. So I got this one because horse um, is like uh, almost like a symbol for Udaipur. Then I just got lots and lots of jewelry. This is one of the earrings that I picked up. These ones are also so pretty, like hundred rupees each. So we made it to Fateh Sagar Lake, and it's very very pretty. And we're gonna do the motor ride, motor boat, um, which is for eighty nine rupees. They also have a speed boat option, but that's for three minutes, and it's for like two fifty rupees. Literally three minutes. Guys, if it's a little bit more time, then we'll go. जो मोटर बोट है उसमें um, कितने लोग है 40 लोग आते हैं पूरे एक बड़े बोट में सो क्या लेट्स गो एक्चुअली लेट मी शो यू वट द फतेह सागर लेक लुक्स लाइक लेट्स द फतेह सागर लेक जिस गो टू पिचोला लेक एंड डू योर क्या बोलते हैं बोटिंग देयर बिकॉज आई फील लाइक इट्स मच प्रिटियर यहाँ पे कुछ ज्यादा है नहीं देखने के लिए सो यू दो स्पीड बोट इफ यू वॉन्ट या स्पीड बोट है नहीं करेक्ट इफ यू लाइक नेवर बीन इन स्पीड बोट एंड मे बी इट्स कार में सपोज टू कम एंड कार दैट we came in oh my i could literally see my life flashing in front of my eyes the guy was driving so like oh my like uh, do you agree or do you not i don't agree with the life flashing in front of my eyes but <laughs> it was bad but it was dramatic. really bad it was very rash it was very scary it, it was not rash the see the thing is the slopes are so steep that if he doesn't take the car up in speed the car will not climb up but you can't so take such harsh the... turns itta fast turn and he was not even ho like honking you know hey, he was honking He was honking. Whatever. It's a, it is a bit scary, no doubt about yeah. that. But it's safe. It's nothing to be worried about. I don't think so. I'm worried about going down the slope. Really worried about it. But anyway, we've made it here, and it looks very pretty. Like the view from here is pretty. I'm just waiting for the sunset, um, and then we'll go up on the fort. There's also like a cafe which is called Chunda Palace. Cafe, Chunda, Chunda. I don't know how, however you pronounce it, but yeah, very pretty, very nice. It's a beautiful view. Also, check out these super cute monkeys. There's a baby monkey also. I'm obsessed with monkeys, by the way. They're my favorite animal. This is the Sajjangarh Fort, also known as the Monsoon Palace. According to Aditya, 
ये फोर्ट बनाया गया था ताकि रॉयल फैमिली इधर आए मानसून के टाइम पर इज इट ट्रू आई आई रियली डोंट थिंक सो वी शुड रीड एक्चुअली फॉर दैट टू एंजॉय द क्लाउडी एंड रेनी वेदर ड्यूरिंग द मानसून सो आफ्टर ऑल आदित्य वॉज करेक्ट वो अब बोल रहा था कि ये बनाया गया है रॉयल फैमिली ने टू इंजॉय द मानसून एंड वही लिखा है यहाँ पे भी टू ऑब्जर्व एंड इंजॉय द स्पेक्टिकल ऑफ क्लाउडी एंड रेनी वेदर ड्यूरिंग द मानसून द व्यू फ्राम ऑन टॉप ऑफ द फोर्ट इट्स एक्चुअली थ्री व्यूज एंड विद सचनगर फोर्ट हमारी थोड़ी थोड़ी फट रही है क्योंकि हमें हमारी प्लीज ही इज एक्टिंग क्योंकि अंधेरे में हमें वो रास्ते में नीचे नहीं जाना है सो वे लिविंग इवन बिफोर द सन सेट कम्प्लीटली हम लोग ने काफ़ी आई थिंक हाफ एन आवर जितना सनसेट देखा है द सन हैज़ नॉट सेट कम्प्लीटली हैड बट इट्स गॉड जस्ट आई फील लाइक इट्स वर्थ कमिंग नॉट फॉर द एक्चुअल पैलेस द एक्चुअल पैलेस इज इन दैट फ्री टू बी ऑनर्स बट द व्यू दैट इट हैज इट्स क्वाइट ब्यूटिफुल ओके सो बैक इन द रूम आई थिंक वेट इज गोना चेंज एंड गेट इन टू लाइक सम लाइक कम्फी क्लोथ्स एंड देन वी कैन गो टू to the rooftop so i actually like the room more at night like it's giving me like nice cozy vibes din ke time pe i was not like a 100% convinced by this room but abhi raat mein aate aate not too bad so i am at the cafe the rooftop cafe which is called twg and already the vibes are amazing even if you don't end up staying in uh, poonam haveli you can still come here to the cafe because they are food i mean their menu is really um, like there's a lot of variety and it's multi very cuisine. unique multi cuisine um then instagram page check out karna usme photos are like plating or wo sab ke so really good also the guy who owns this place the chef also he is very hospitable like he came over to our table he explained every single dish to us broke it down for us gave us options so really good vibe so far i'm just going to wait for the food and we'll actually try i personally i'm not ordering much um aditya is going to do all the eating like actually usually but yeah excited for the food <laughs> the food was Amazing. Amazing, literally the Google. best food that we've had all throughout. Um, I also had a Burmese bowl बाद में विच इज सो गुड ऑल्सो हम इशारों में बात कर रहे थे बिकॉज इट वॉज रियली लाउड सो कुछ ज़्यादा बोल नहीं पाया वाइफ भी अच्छा था लाइक इट वॉज लाइक येलो लाइट्स एंड रेल लाइट्स एंड प्रेडी रूफ टॉप था ठंड थी एक्चुअली बट अच्छा था बहुत अच्छा था खाना डेफिनेटली चेक दिस प्लेस आउट इफ यू हैपन टू विजिट उदयपुर वुड रिकमेंड even the owner himang is too good yeah yeah very hospitable and he like constantly kept checking on us he acha hai wo acha hai so really good experience good morning guys so it's the next day abhi baj gaye almost 9:30 baj gaye breakfast is um only on till 10 so we really need to hurry up but uh, neend bahut hi achhi aayi um i did not like wake up beech mein raat ko ya aisa kuch bhi nahi i had a really good sleep uske alawa subah yahan pe garam pani bhi aata hai acha khasa garam pani aata hai i know that's like a big concern for most people so that's also a thumbs up now let's go and have the breakfast and see how's the breakfast so we made a boohoo um there's no breakfast in our hotel i don't know why we thought ki breakfast is included um but they don't have breakfast all together like there isn't a package available jisme aapko breakfast complimentary milega they do have a restaurant upstairs which is called twg yahan pe hum log yesterday bhi aaye the so ek floor pe it's like a restaurant and then uske upar there's a rooftop so yesterday we were sitting at the rooftop today we were sitting in the restaurant and we're just ordering from their menu it's like a very basic breakfast menu. menu at the school for some pancakes i have called for an omelet and uh, chai sorry chai coffee that's what we're doing very basic very simple prices are also okay it's not like exorbitant so yeah that's what we're having right now the omelet is here and so is my coffee डन विद द ब्रेकफेस्ट आदित्य का पैनकेक दिखाना हम भूल गए अनफॉर्चुनेटली बट अच्छा था लाइक ओवरऑल ब्रेकफेस्ट प्रिटी गुड सो आर ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स इन द बजट फ्रेंडली होटल आर ओवर एंड वर अबाउट टू चेक आउट राइट नाउ एंड वर गो एंड चेक इन टू अ लग्जरी होटल more about that in a bit let me reach there and then i'll give you all the details okay so we've made it to the property we're staying at taj aravali now there are three taj properties here in udaipur the first one obviously being taj lake palace which is i feel like the most popular and the most beautiful one and the most expensive one as well we were actually trying to book a stay at taj lake palace but the room that we wanted which was like the cheapest room available was sold out um and then the next room which was available was for like 78000 or something like that to so, thoda zyada ho jata hai wo hamara pura trip utne paise mein khatam hone 
wala hai so we were like you know what let's just go to taj aravali for the luxury part of it and this room is for 25000 for one night for two people and also this includes like a few different things this definitely has a breakfast option available buffet breakfast in the morning then they also give you a bottle of sparkling wine and aur kya the 25% of the amount you can redeem while you're on the stay so while we're here um, if we have a meal here or if we go to the jiva spa we can use that 25% ka credit here itself so ideally our check in is supposed to be at 2 o'clock but uh, we called and we asked if we could get an early check in and we were able to get an early check in at 11:30 so um, let me actually quickly give you a room tour i am personally very impressed by the room i wasn't expecting itna zyada i was just expecting it to be like a nice taj room like how it is but this one's even better I just wanted to show you my OOTD, very very casual outfit for today. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Jiva Spa, book our spa appointment, uh, like get an appointment basically, and then go to the pool. That's the to do. And then we'll have lunch, and then we have a complimentary high tea also. So we need to like really align everything and not miss the free high tea. Okay. So quick update. Um, call the Jiva Spa booking early. Eh? I would recommend making your bookings at least one day in advance. Like even if you are staying for one night, you can always call and make your bookings because it always gets sold out. This is something that I've noticed in general, also not just this time. Um, so that's number one. And um, we got a booking. For For three o'clock, so I'm getting the Indian Aroma Therapy Massage, which is a 60-minute massage. It's a full body oil massage, and Aditya is getting a Champi massage because actually slots available नहीं है दोनों को साथ में कराने के लिए. So बिचारा he settled for a Champi massage. So the Indian Aroma Therapy, the one that I'm getting done, is for five thousand rupees, which I feel like is very inexpensive for like taj standard it's still a lot of money but for taj standard it's pretty good and then aditya is getting the champi which i think is for 3700 rupees and that is for 45 minutes so yeah that's the plan for now abhi filhal i think 12:30 hua so now quickly we're going to go change and head to the pool because we do want to swim a little bit um and the pool is huge so we definitely want to make the most of it and yeah We just came back from the pool and it was so cold. We were in the pool for एक घंटे के लिए and in fact अदित्य को नहीं लग रही थी ठंडी और मुझे और मेरा actually सर भी दुखने लग गया but anyway we just got a call from uh, Jiva Spa and they said that one more slot is open. So both of us are going to get um, aroma therapy done. Just making some green tea. Done with the massage, cut to cut है मतलब सब कुछ हमारा एकदम fast fast चल रहा है तो we changed, took a shower, all of that, and how was the massage? It was really good, very relaxing. It was relaxing. really really good, very nice. Um, सिर्फ एक चीज था head massage नहीं हुआ that's the only thing that I'm little bit sad about, but otherwise pretty good. Pretty good. Done with our high tea. And I am actually really impressed. Like there were two types of pastries. There was kachori. There was biscuits. Four cookies. types of cookies. Tea, coffee. Pretty good. Like really, yeah. really good. One dump paid me. Bhar gaya. Yeah. So it was good spread, basically. Good spread and everything tasted also really good. So amazed. Just exploring the property on foot. It's a 27 acre property, which is pretty big. Pura to nahi dekh pane, but thoda wa dekh lete. So there's a play zone right here, and. Uh, I think let's go check it out and also I can see an equipment a game sorry that we really like Hi guys so we want to see the air hockey loser shut up <laughs> so we played three games in which I in which you have to score basically 7 points to win so in the 
all three games the total points that Maddie scored was seven. Shut up. Whereas I scored all seven basically to win. Okay, fair. So it's hundred rupees for uh, three, three rounds. rounds, which is pretty good. Yeah. Achha, and they have lots of different games. What all do they have? Chess, ca carrom. All of that is that is complimentary. There's pool yeah. which you have to pay for. There's Billiards, air hockey. Billiards, football. That is to pay for. Yeah. So pretty good. Uh, There's even archery and paintball. Yeah, that's what we're going to check out. Yeah. Abhi. Let's see. I don't think we're gonna do it honestly, but see what it is. So we are in the paintball uh, ka section. They have a paintball section also, which is pretty cool. If you come in a group, group. then it makes sense to do it. So we do it. Also, there's like a proper rope obstacle, obstacle. course. Uh, I don't know why I'm hacking you. Anyway, uh, Aditya is obsessed with uh, archery. Piche archery ka bhi hai section. He's actually very good at it also. Are you gonna do it? Hmm. Yes, it's 300 rupees for. What Ten arrows. Ten arrows. Pretty good. Okay. Yeah, pretty so, good. Uh, so I'll do five arrows and then we'll see no, our no. expert I... maestro. <laughs> I'm expert not. Expert archer. I... Yes, sir. Oh wow. Bullseye? No. No, no. Almost. Wow. At Laga least board. it's stuck. <laughs> at least it's stuck. I know, right? Hey, you do the other two. Huh? Huh. So guys, at least by a narrow margin, why not? But board ke yaha pe. Stick to hua. We just came to our room and they delivered the what is this? The sparkling wine, right? And then also a cake. So I didn't actually know that the cake was also a part of the thing. I just knew about the wine. Um, so this is complimentary, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is what we have. Cake to Sara Adutai khane wala hai. And Adutai doesn't have wine, so I'll probably have a glass or something. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Pretty cool, I would say. Okay, so I've been sitting here um, for almost 40 minutes and uh, editing chal rahi hai thodi si. So I still have, I think, a ghante ka aur kaam hai. And by the time we go there, like to the um, restaurant to have dinner, almost closing time ho jayega. So I think it's gonna be a better idea to order like in-room dining. So that's what we're gonna do probably. And also I feel like when you come to like such um, like luxurious hotels, in-room dining is like an experience in itself. Hi guys, so our food is here. We have ordered a chicken tikka pizza and spaghetti aglio olio. Whatever the hell that is. Good morning. So it's our last day here in Udaipur, and we're also checking out today from our hotel. And just woke up. Now we're going for breakfast. We're a little bit late. Um, breakfast is supposed to end at 10. No, 10:30. It's 10 right now, so we gotta hurry up. Back from our breakfast and it was really good, very good spread, very yummy food. Just a normal breakfast ka buffet hota hai waisa hi tha, kaafi achcha tha. Um, I think with that we end the vlog because we're supposed to check out in literally like 15 minutes. So just to kind of wrap the video up, if I had to choose between the two places, between Pune Haveli and Taj, I mean goes without saying I would obviously pick Taj but obviously another thing to consider is the price factor Taj is quite on the um, expensive side and then Poonam Haveli is quite on the affordable side if you want an in-between you can definitely check out my previous vlog um, in that I show you a hotel which is not the most affordable but it's neither super super like expensive and luxurious I actually you know what I do think it's luxurious but at like a budget friendly cost so the hotel is called Jagat Nivas and it's amazing so it's an in between in case you think ye bahut zyada mehenga ye bahut hi zyada sasta aapke budget ke liye so yeah i think that's basically it i feel like i'm going to continue doing this series um wherever i go do let me know if you would want me to continue doing it and i think that's basically it i'll see you soon in my next video bye